Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video from Epsom on Easter Saturday. Saturday the 30th of March and first time I'm wearing a t-shirt. Oh, I'll move out of the way for uh, some vehicles. Mm, they ruined my intro. Now Chalk Lane is interesting. It's just by Epsom Racecourse and I've always wondered, oh, I wonder what's down that road. So I went on to Google and thought, oh, it looks like quite an interesting road with a historic house. And that historic house being the Durdens, which I'll show you here through these beautiful wrought iron gates. Look at that, they're amazing. There have been multiple buildings on this site before this one. Some of the original uh, structures in the 1600s said it was on a par with Nonsuch Palace, the demolished Nonsuch Palace. I think there's some masonry from Nonsuch Palace used in the construction of it. Yeah, the Durdens. Seems to be a very popular walking route because everyone's walking through, just as I'm videoing, but hey. Even Charles II, he visited here and dined in the 1660s, which is interesting. It's a beautiful house. And of course it's world famous for the stables that were opened in the 1800s when a horse owned by one of the owners uh, won the Derby. Alamoto, I think it is, which is the name of the pub we're going for lunch in, which is a grumpy mole pub, but it's called the Alamoto. And so the stables here started in the 1840s. There we go, the Durden Stables. And there are still three listed buildings still in use in the stables, the Durden Stables. The Durdens, it's a great name for a house isn't it, the Durdens. I said I didn't even know this was all here. I know we're near Epsom Racecourse, so there's loads of stables, but I wasn't aware of uh, the house, really. I think I've heard of it vaguely in the past, um, but it's really interesting. I think there's a lot of money tied up in this little area. Chalk Lane. Easy to find, just off the um, by the grandstand and the pub. It's lovely. Very nice for a stroll. And you've got these modern flats built opposite. They look very nice, but it's sort of a bit out of place with the aesthetic of the of the uh, of the lane. Okay, well, these are being turned into flats. That looks Edwardian. Yeah, residence, Chalk Lane residence, flats. Lovely historic building here, which is rather nice. Such a shame we got all blocked off while they're being refurbished. But let's walk up to World's End to the entrance to the Durdens. When Lord Rosebery purchased the Durdens in the 1870s, he was told that it was famous in England for the Nightingale bird song and he didn't hear any nightingales until 1899. So, you probably won't hear any now. Lovely little area though. So 
So yeah, here's the entrance to the Durdens. There's Lord Rosebery's plaque up the top there, dated 1878, 1878. Beautiful door. I said in another video recently, I don't like olive green. It's something about olive green. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's a shame it's not open to the public, but it's a private residence, so it's understandable. World's End, private road, World's End. Um, little dew pond here, very sweet. CCTV cameras, CCTV cameras in operation. Looks like a Florida swamp. Well, there you go, I did want to show you the entrance. So thank you. Didn't even know this was all here. And we're local. Um, oh, it's so good to be in a t-shirt. Still a little bit fresh, it's about 15 degrees, I think, 14, 15 degrees today, Celsius. But let's carry on walking down Chalk Lane. Get some lovely clapboard uh, cottages to show you. That's the Amato, Grumpy Mole Pub, which we're having lunch in shortly. Which will be nice. So yeah, it was named after the first horse bred at the Durdens to win the Derby. Building of special interest. Up the old cottages, look at them. 1600s maybe, 1700s. Yeah, lovely. The chalk lane is rather sweet, rather charming. Can I say charming? Can I say charming? Well, I have. Charming. And you come out into a lovely little road, public footpath, uh, behind Epsom Hospital. Very nice. There's a nice little pond down there. I think we'll have a little walk down there and have a quick look at that. Woodcote Millennium Green here. Records show that the area of Woodcote formed part of the manor of Epsom, which was owned by Chertsey Abbey prior to the dissolution of the monasteries in 1536. The pond may be visible in the far background of, of a painting of the Dower Durdens by Jacob Nick Cleef, dated 1679. Okay. So you got the road there in the back of Epsom Hospital. We we'll have to walk around an old ruin there. It's been refurbished or been knocked down, not sure. But uh, yeah, when there's no traffic, it's a really, really peaceful spot. Okay, let's have a walk down Warpool Road. Just off Chalk Lane, I've come back into Chalk Lane. Don't know if there's much to see, but it's on the outskirts of Epsom, away from the high street, so it's always interesting. Oh yeah, just come out to uh, the normal road. Very nice road, squirrels away. Okay, so we'll walk around Warpool Road. We're going to head back up to the Grumpy Mole for lunch. How does that sound on this beautiful Saturday, Easter Saturday? Let's go.
a lovely lunch at the Grumpy Mole in Epsom. I had lamb. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining me on this little walk along um, along the lane. Just think, the hundreds of times I've, walked, I've driven past Chalk Lane and I always wonder, whoa, where did that lead to? Actually, probably more than a hundred, few hundred times. Um, and it's been fascinating, really interesting. The Durden's house, all that kind of stuff. Very interesting. If you want to take a bit of a deep dive, going to the, uh, the Epsom and Yule History Explorer website, which I'll link below. It's a real, real informative website about all the history around Epsom and Yule. So yeah, it's been really, really good. Fantastic, especially on this beautiful, warm Saturday the 30th of March, Easter Saturday. Um, hope you're having a great weekend. Although you'll be seeing this a couple of weeks later. But please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah.